so this is the most heavily damaged area. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is bad. When an earthquake happens, it's a very unfortunate event, but it's something that we need to take the opportunity and learn from. Why were these buildings damaged in this area when they weren't damaged over here and the construction appeared to be very similar? Well, there was something different about the way the ground shook in certain areas of the city during the earthquake. The stiffness of the soil is quantified by something we call a shear wave velocity. OK, I'm going to hook up some cables. And that's simply the speed that shear waves, which are the waves that are generated by the earthquake, it's how fast do those waves travel through the soil. So Brady is setting up these geophones. And we're going to use the sledgehammer okay. to generate surface waves, so okay. waves that travel along the surface. And as they travel underneath the geophones, the geophones will vibrate. So we'll be able to see the speed of the waves as they travel from sensor to sensor. Okay, okay go ahead. OK, again. That's good. The majority of Port-au-Prince actually has stiff, what we would call pretty good soil. The place where it's not as well off is right downtown, within about one or two kilometers to the coast. And this is where you start to see softer sediments, and that's where there a significant amount of damage was. When I am designing something and I'm, I am calculating the, the structures, elements like the beams for the house, I must know about the seismic effect, and I should include it in the building. The reconstruction process is starting. So we have two solutions. We can say, well, earthquakes are a tough problem to deal with, and we have other priorities. Or we are proactive about it and say, let's use a reconstruction as an opportunity to build better, as an opportunity to move forward, as an opportunity to develop a seismic risk reduction program, because if we don't do it now, we will never do it.